I envision children that will thrive. Every parent wishes that their children can do better than they did. I'm the child of immigrants and didn't speak English till kindergarten. And when I see the preschool and the work with the parents, I see what those children can become. CFNC's mission is to provide no-cost preschool education and family services uh, to the working poor, which is uh, families that are at about 185% of the poverty level. It's unique in that it's large, in the impact that it has, but it is local and it is almost individualized to the community and to the family and to the child. There are so many working poor in this city just trying to make it and if we don't give these kids the tools to sit in a preschool classroom, which a lot of it is just teaching a child to sit and learn, then they won't be able to go into kindergarten, first grade, and give the focus that they need to keep up with the rest of the class and the curriculum that they have in those educational settings. We follow a very high quality proven curriculum called HighScope, and we follow it very carefully. But we also hire very high quality educators and administrators. A lot of our teachers actually come right from being mothers at our preschool. They know our program. They already have a passion for it. They know it works. What letter do you have? A. A, what sound? A, A, A. Awesome. Strong children come from strong families. We make it our business to know as much as we can about the family that that child comes from. We have a very high quality group of social services experts that go into their homes and we help our families become more stable so that when our children come home at the end of the day, they come into more stability. That's a huge, huge part of our success. And the other part is that we do have our classrooms right there in the community where the people are. We have 10 classrooms in six different locations around the city of Alexandria, but we don't make them travel all the way across the city. Our kids don't take buses. Um, they actually can go to a classroom that's nearby where they live and they can walk there. <laughs> We're trying to give our kids a fighting chance so that they can thrive in the kindergarten classroom and make it all the way to high school graduation and make it into college. Really, it boils down to, I just want them to be happy, whatever that means, however they define happiness in life, whether it's having a lot of friends, whether it's being a car mechanic or working in a lab at NIH, that they be happy and feel fulfilled in their lives and that they can live their lives the way they want to and not feel dependent on people. It's such an example of how to work with children and neighborhoods and families to watch them succeed and to have them achieve in school and move forward. And I think that there are many communities that could benefit from this model. And that's why I'm very, very passionate about the work that we do here because you can actually see it work in the community. Mm -hmm.